morning, everyone. So let's start with today's stand up. As always, please raise your hand and share your progress. Your blockers. So um, let's raise your hand. It's maybe a few call names if you are not. Kev Rahman. Hello, good morning. Uh, good morning. Yesterday, uh, okay, good. Uh, uh, yesterday, I managed to deliver uh, on time. So I'm happy for this. But uh, I'm still uh, confusing about the evaluation part. So I try to, to understand how rags, how ragas uh, work. Uh, uh, I think that's all. So uh, that seems uh, that the ragas part uh, does it seem like something that you'll catch up on after practicing with examples, checking on reference for Brahman? Uh, can, can you say can you say it again saying uh you think you will get to understanding how ragas work by by reading references practicing with it are you yeah. confident in that yeah i hope i hope i will understand it by today so if this yeah, uh, yeah go ahead no go ahead sorry Okay, uh, I hope I will, I will understand it by today. Uh, if this uh, doesn't have it, I, I will need help. Yeah, I think it's something that you can understand if you give the right references. There are examples with ragas. So try to run them and see. I think you'll understand it better if you run it on your notebook or something with some other example. Okay. So, okay. okay. I think you are Brahman for training. Any other person? Uh, for, for me, uh, there is no, uh, no other questions. Yeah, I think you are Brahman. I'm asking others if you can please raise your hand and share your progress. Uh, quick. Okay, Hilary. Good morning. Um, nice Good morning. Day. Yesterday, I managed to uh, submit, <coughs> submit on time the interim report. And uh, so I've been working on uh, evaluation, evaluating the prompts. Uh, I, ha I had a confusion about also, I also had a confusion on using RAGAS. Um, so the their documentation is uh, somehow dated. Uh, things are, imports are changing. So, and when I, uh, I try to evaluate the prompt, like uh, test the the prompt. I don't know now what ragas is is used for in this case. Uh, I was, um I saw a message from Jabez saying that it, it kind of can be used to evaluate the rags the rag pipeline, the like the entire pipe uh, the entire rag application if it produces good answers. So my question, if that is the case. How do we evaluate the prompt, like singling each prompt out and evaluating it? That the, the user passed in. I'm confused. So you would check how uh, you would evaluate the, the prompt using the using the expected answer and the model response, right? How well the prompt is actually answering really well. You have to compare it with the answer and the ground cruise answer. Okay, so, yeah. So yeah, that is what Ragas does. It, it generates, you know, like the ground truths and the questions. And uh, now you 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 bring up the LLM to generate for you answers from the questions that were just uh, that were brought up in test cases, and you evaluate that. But but. Uh, uh, yeah, that is done by Ragas as well. But my question is, the user 
uh, asks a question, we may generate like five prompts that are different from the one in the test cases. So, uh, I mean, are we going to also come up with test cases for the same every time? Have you checked to see the moon control method, the in later ratings, in or ratings, Hilary? Have you checked those algorithms? Yeah, I, I've checked. I've checked the algorithms, but apparently you have to like come up with a metric, uh, like a value for the for the one prompt, and then that value you'll be using to compare it with the others. You like you have to have uh, a system that already gives you uh, a, like a percentage score for the prompt before you start uh, ranking them. So is that not possible to do? I mean, this method are used most of the time for evaluating prompts. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah. So like my confusion is that. Uh, before you use the Monte Carlo or the ELO rating, uh, I, I think you, you have to have a score, like a like kind of a number, and that that has to be evaluated by something. Uh, Ragas, if I use Ragas, I'll be I'll I'll have to come up with like tests, um, the test cases for every time for the for that one. Isn't that the case? Yeah, it does. You have to come up with the test cases. Okay. So it's just, I'm confused about what the confusion is really about, Hilary. Maybe just repeat it, let's see. What really is confusing you when it comes to evaluating the prompt? Uh, so my confusion is that uh, RAGAS will evaluate the RAG, not the prompt. Like okay. it will evaluate the your system, how it answers questions, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, so if if that is the case, you'll have to evaluate the prompt uh, like whenever it comes in, and that and you'll have you'll have already evaluated the rag to ensure that it's giving you answers. So now you now have to evaluate the prompt. So like my confusion is that do I have to use rag again? Because now if I use rag, I'll be coming up with a test case for that specific prompt every time, or a different prompt every time, and. I don't know if there's uh, another way, like. So you, I think you're saying if every time a user is generating a prompt, I have to evaluate it. Is that right? Yeah. If I, yeah, if I, uh, if I ask the, if I ask the rag a question, I have to evaluate it and come up with a test case every time, kind of. I mean. It's just you will define a test case, uh, from what I understand, you will define a test case that is for your own work. You can choose maybe one particular PDF, let's say. So if you come up with a case scenarios for that particular PDF, you can come up with different perspective to, uh, to actually evaluate that PDF and just to be sure that that PDF is actually uh, giving that answer for the user query, right? I mean, you can find the key point on that PDF that the rug is missing when it answers by just checking it a, a lot of times by using that one. So if you have, you can have one defined test case. So this is part of the PDF should be answered. The model is not answering this is one. So you will have test cases. So once you have evaluating that particular PDF with this test case, I mean, you can be sure at some point that your rug is now perfect enough to handle user requests because I have fixed with these questions, these test cases will give you better instruction also to give you to your model to give a better prompt, right? Uh, instruction so how the model should understand your question and uh, give the relevant response. I don't see why you do. You have to do a multiple test cases again and again. If you come up with the right test scenarios for that particular PDF file, I think you will. Uh, the repetition of, of doing that test cases will not be uh, too much once you figure out the problem if you run that like you run i'm reading that pdf file we drive information from the knowledge base is that clear though hilary i mean uh, yeah, yeah i mean 
uh, th that one is sort of clear like um I, I, it, it will be like a long discussion, but uh, you, whatever you've said is, uh, I've already implemented that using RAGAS, uh, come up with one test case to evaluate the RAG. But what I was talking about is one specific prompt that the user will will, will, will ask. I mean, that, that prompt isn't even in the test case, or if it is, it's like kind of lucky because you're using a few samples. Yeah, so like for the evaluation of the specific prompt. Yeah, you're right. The question could be anything the user asks could be different or similar by chance with the test case. So I think the prompt generation part come up on that. So the user question is not directly going to be transferred passed to the work. So if you have a prompt generation, it can add with the structure with the user's question before that particular question is passed to the user. To the rack, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Okay, Abraham. Yes, thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I have uh, joined the meeting a little bit late, and I have uh, this question. It's about the API key. Uh, I have uh, received an API key from Kerta early, but I'm getting this your insufficient quota or something. Uh, and I don't know uh, what to do, and I'm not able to generate those prompts because of this issue. So, have you notified the person about it? Uh, I did, and she's saying she uh, she gave me a key. She's saying it's working, and she's saying uh, that I have enough quota, and I was wondering if anybody is facing the same issue. So the error you're seeing is, is it's not enough quota, right, Abraham? Yes, yes. OK, I will try to check with her, too. So you do share her the screenshots, right, for that thing? Or what were you doing? Uh, OK, so, so. Uh, Have you sent her the screenshot of the error? Yes, yes. What but, were you doing? Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll ask you just, uh, what were you doing when you were accessing the prompt? The key, sorry. Uh, why I'm using the key? Yeah, I mean, in what scenario does this error happen when what were the task we were trying to implement? Uh, okay, uh, I have uh, copied the from what was the framework from 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 there is a link that you guys shared us. There is a bunch of prompts out there. Uh, mm -hmm. What was the framework name? I forgot the, uh, the prompt name. And now uh, I have uh, I have I have a text, and I have uh, I have split it or I have chunk size that text, and I'm using that vectorized text or chunk text to generate a prompt. So is the is the that is the data the chunk files are they? What size they are? I think they are too big. That's why you're getting that here. Uh, they are about 500 in size. That's not that much. Can you just test it by just passing the first 200 and see if the key actually works when you with the size? Okay. okay. I have so, tried that. Yeah, try that. If the key is working, try to tell the customer about that. When I oh. check site, it's working, but when I increase it, it's uh, causing that error. So it doesn't understand it well or they were something. Okay. I'll try that and I'll ask. And also, I have this uh, understanding of the project. And I was wondering if you guys could confirm that am I doing it right or wrong. So the plan is uh, to build a prompt engineering system. We'll have a knowledge base that's very good at prompting, and we'll vectorize that, or we'll we'll chunk into pieces. Then we store it in a vector database. Then, uh, then we will accept the user query from the user, and we will uh, we will embed these tokens or these chunks uh, along with the augmentation uh, script that that we actually query the uh, LLA, we'll send that to chat the OpenS 
ChatGPT, then we'll receive that. Then uh, we will also generate a test case scenario. And we'll generate this test case scenario using open AIs or using LLM tools, right? If I'm being sound enough. Yes, it's one way. You can use the models to generate these test case scenarios. Okay. You can also uh, come up with your own case scenarios. Yes, uh, like uh, I'm planning to use to generate uh, also the uh, relevant answers, maybe, and, and the important parts. So, is it possible to do this one? You're saying is it possible, or is that how I should do it? Is that uh, how I should do it? Uh, yeah. Plus, and about the ELO rating, there is uh, this thing about the previous matches. Uh, so should we st should we store every generated from same along with their uh, ranking other important data for for evaluating for the. the yeah, I mean, you can follow your own workflow. If you think that's better, you are welcome to do it. Since algorithms are just help, helpers, help, helpers for better uh, What a very good system you can uh, explore. Oh. Okay. Is that clear or? Yes, it's clear. Thank you. So let's move on to the next person. I'm just going to call from the ladies since no one is talking then. So, Mahbuba and Mr., if you can unmute here. Uh, Mahbuba, can you talk? I'll come to you, Jaraji. Mahbuba? Yeah, right on the chat. Uh, Dereji, you can go ahead. Okay, good morning, everyone. So yesterday I was able to submit the virtual task, and uh, but I'm a little bit confused on evaluation part. So yeah, the one is just uh, one thing is so evaluating uh, maybe question the answering, right? So the other thing is evaluating prompt. So, yeah, and also I think yesterday the GitHub uh, code is shared with us and uh, I'm looking at into uh, also, so, but, you know, just it's a little bit confused because uh, let's say, let's say the final thing is so, just generating optimized prompt, right? For example, if the user just ask a question and then we we need to just optimize the user uh, creation uh, and then finally evaluate. So, and uh, let me just try it in uh, a chat example what I am thinking. So for example, Let's say I think this is what we need the final maybe in my understanding. So the final thing is we get so optimized uh, prompt right. But to get optimized prompts, how we how we do 
for example, we we need to just uh, maybe guide guide uh, LLM, right? We need to guide LLM by writing some uh, um, uh, prompt, right? Yes. So, so based on that, it is not clear for me. And also there is a code, maybe I can share on this uh, on GitHub. So this is, for example, so, uh this is we are going to just analyze a debate so we just put some uh, guide for for mlm and and based on that so there are we and after that we what do you call so drag and uh, our prompt based prompt is uh drag is contextually retrieve from my base prompt and compare to yes, the user question after that just optimized or what maybe I am it confused and you elaborate on that. So uh, let's see if I understand your question. So for generation you are saying we are instructing the model, right? Yes. How it should generate. Yeah. So that's what you're gonna going to do. So you're gonna give it detailed instruction with examples, and maybe those examples also it can refer from your uh, knowledge base how it should come up with uh, prompts, and you will instruct it to generate data prompts that are related to with the user question. I mean that contain the user. What they could want to ask has should be included on those prompts in just in a better way in a better grammar that's how you will uh, the instruction in front of your instruction and you should also give it like with it maybe options different more than one prompt so the user can choose the better prompt for their question you can also give that one so is that clear i mean I didn't quite get your question, uh, Reggie. Yeah, but it's, uh, I think you get my idea, but you know, just did you see the code, maybe the GitHub? So there is a prompt uh, about the analyze debate and the analyze incident. So are we going to just do that like that, or uh, it is it is a reference? Or, so let me see on what is saying on your GitHub, the one you shared. This is another thing that's related to prompt generation, Dereji. I mean, here is just uh, giving instruction to on the debate. Oh. Is this one is helping them to understand the debate concept so they can broaden their own views. Uh, it's not related to that actually. This actually is uh, asking them to do some kind of uh, summary description on the debate. Okay, so so we don't need to just make like like this. So. From what I'm seeing, not quite. I mean, the purpose is different. I mean, I can see there is detailed instructions that will be given to the uh, model, maybe. But other than that, I mean, I, I don't see the similarity. It's just your instruction for, for this project is instructing the model to actually come up with better prompts that are related to with the user question. You on your prompt, you can actually give it example how your prompt should be given. If you have a structure of how the prompt should be out, so uh, I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, you will ha you need to have a better instruction for the model to come up with this prompt generation with without missing the point. I mean, models can be sometimes too much descriptive and they lose their point of your question. So you can minimize those uh, unnecessary answers the LLM can give uh, by uh, giving it a structure. I, I think giving it an example how the prompt should be uh, would benefit your model.
is that clear or okay let's just uh, mister did you share your okay just one volunteer and we can end the stand up If you have a question, you can. Okay, Jarvis. Okay, good morning. Uh, so I also able to submit yesterday the uh, uh, submit and my question and um struggling with is the ragas i was uh, i shared it on slack i was uh, importing the test from uh, uh, from ragas but it's it's, it's it's i was not able to i i have uh, so much error uh, i discussed it with hillary i tried to change my python to 3.9 but uh, still uh, the, the issue is not fixed uh, hello sorry uh, you're saying the raga is not working right Javi? yes yeah don't use the latest version of ragas maybe uh, they have some dependencies on the notebook that i shared i have for the ragas version that i used maybe use that one and see if it can fix that Okay, on the uh, PowerPoint you shared? No, the notebook that I shared on my first tutorial of this week. The chat okay. uh, rock pipeline. Okay, let me, I will check that. Yeah, okay. there, I have put the particular rock as versions that I installed, so try that with that one. Uninstall okay. yours. And... Okay. So, uh, last chat, if you have anything to share, you are welcome. Uh, if not, we can end the stand up. Okay, so I have also shared a resource that practically does prompt engineering application, which is uh, pretty much related to this week project. Check that out. It, they did use ELO and Monte Carlo on their project. I think it might be insightful for you guys as well. So please check out. It has you might clip things up. Okay. So uh, I think we can end the session. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you for joining and sharing.